Hey everybody! Um, you guys are unfortunately catching me in kind of a work period as opposed to a getting stuff done period, so to speak. So, um, but I thought it'd be a good learning opportunity or good teaching opportunity. So, I guess I'll do some teaching. Um, this is um, some trees that I'm making for. Um, the, uh, the Canadian Wasteland set. Um, I, I cut out some round bases. These are out of oak, so they're plenty strong. Um, and I hot glued them, and because this is a hard wood here, and this is a hard wood here, um, it's very hard for the hot glue to penetrate. It, it's great to connect them, but it's, you know, if it if it gets dropped on the floor or something, it'll tend to, to pop because this has got a little bit of weight and this is fairly strong. Um, so what I'm doing, every, everything you do is a learning process when you're working on terrain models, what have you. Um, I think his name is Tom the Model Man. Um, is he uh, go to scale model addict? and he talks about him and my god he's got some like between 200 and 250 videos and um, he's got the funniest saying I am so bummed that he took it first because I would want it for myself he's, he says um, screwing up models so you don't have to and, and he really really sums it up beautifully because um, I mean, unless you've done it a thousand times, this is a learning process. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my Aline, uh, Aline's glue, and I'm making connection point right over the hot glue. And it's going to take me right into that base and right into that oak twig. And then, because this has flexibility and it's got more penetrating power, um, that should solve my problem. Um, so, what I'm doing now is basically um, fixing these, because you always want your stuff to be the best it can possibly be, you know. Um, and, you know, so that's what you do. You always, you know, it's kind of like that, you know, every time you take a shower thing, you get an idea kind of thing. This is the same thing. Always, always, always keep your mind open. Because, you know, if you kind of tell your brain, hey, I need to solve this problem, you're going to get an aha moment sooner or later. And I, I can't tell you how often I get those. I get them all the time. The problem is I, I get <laughs> more of them than I need. And it's like, oh, I could do this for a project. I could do that for a project. I think I'm at like 14 or something right now. So got a few projects so you know knocking some things down um, I'm gonna be shooting out and getting some uh, some product for a uh, gentleman by the name of John and John is going to be having a huge huge to do um, in the Quad City area it's called um, free comic book day and anybody who is a subscriber of mine I would strongly recommend going out and meeting this guy. He is just fantastic. He's, he's cool, he's smart, um, and he really, really puts his customers first. He's, he's always looking for what, you know, they may want. And um, he just, um, I, I'm learning a lot from him. I'm learning a lot from him. Um, so, uh, John, if you're looking at this, I've got a, a dungeon thing. Remember we were talking about the two-inch squares? You might want to check that dungeon thing out. I'm going to email you and talk to you about that, but if you catch this vid, um, check it out. Um, so now I'm shooting on to Kamloopian's Fantabulous uh, Coniferous Trees. These are like dead, and he makes a joke because they have some beetles up there that have been just tearing these trees up. He said something like 90 to 95 percent of all their trees look like this now, up in Canada. It's like, you know, it's supposed to be all green and 
beautiful. <laughs> There's all these dead coniferous trees everywhere. But um, I'm uh, I'm just continuing on with this. I hope I'm not boring you guys, but I mean, sometimes when you're working on terrain, some of it's just work based, and um, and you just take care of work because you have to, you know. I, I wish to God I could every day show you guys a new finished table, but I am one man and a mere mortal, so I apologize for that. But um, yeah, Cam Lupian teaches you how to do these. Um, he's he's funny. He's informative. Um, if you're into politics. He's your man because he, he's always got something to say about what's going on up there in Canada. And just just a great guy. Just a great guy. I, I, I can't even begin to tell all you guys how lucky I was to run across uh, this individual and, um, and how I just continue to do so. Um, you know, every once in a while you gotta just say, you know, Thank you to the powers that be, you know. I don't care who you pray to or what you believe in, but you know what? When you run across a lot of just fantastic people, you should uh, you should feel thankful to something. And I most certainly do. So, but uh, let's see what else. Any little pearls of wisdom I can give. Um, these trees, uh, not these, but the ones I was doing earlier, to keep it from, uh, one thing that, that uh, Cam Lupian told me, or Steve, his name is Steve, so I don't want to sound like a dork, um, he said um, that you want to dry them out like herbs, and I'm going one extra step with that. I'm, uh, I paint, uh, couple layers of glue over them and what that does is it kind of gives it a how would you say like a resin kind of uh, coating so it makes it you know heck of a lot stronger than it was going to be and you know it definitely saves me a little bit of money and I think it's a more realistic effect too so you know terrain making I mean if you're a guy at home and you don't gotta ship this stuff going out and picking up a rock um, an interesting shaped uh, root anything um, these are just fantastic tools to make terrain from, and they're they're right in your backyard. You know, um, Camp Lupian said, I think he said, you know, your terrain when it's scratch built should last, you know, uh, somewhere between a year to two years. And I mean, pff, you can do that easy, 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 easy with just stuff um, that you're gonna find out. Uh, you know, I mean, on the side of the road. I mean, garbage day. I mean, uh, if you're not afraid of looking like a garbage picker, you know, kids' plastic toys. Oh my God, they've they've covered the sculpture part for you. Um, if they've got good texture to them, you don't have to do any fancy, you know, techniques for for brushing. You just dry brush them. All right, we've come to that point in the program where we see what's in Bill's drawers. Fifth one, sixth down. I know I've done that. I think one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have. Let me see. Oh, just did it yesterday. Five, eight. Classic troops already did that. Nine four. All right. What's a nine four? Nine four. This is a good one. These are useful, useful, useful. 
Um, plastic plants. Um, these are great for either jungles. It's kind of thorny too if you look at the texture. So this is good for like vampire count stuff if you want it to look kind of you know mean looking. Here's a huge bag. Uh, this plant, and you could cut these down. They don't have to be ginormously long. You see how long my finger is there. So you can cut these down and use these. I use them all the time in jungles and all sorts of stuff. But um, that's the kind of stuff you want to look for in stores. Very valuable and usually pretty cheap. So that's what's in Bill's drawers. Take care, everybody.